Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Brad over here at Chattanooga Fish and Fun. Here at Fish and Fun, I sell Ranger boats and Lance truck campers. So uh, recently I've been asked if Lance produces a truck model for full size imports, which would be like your Toyota Tundra and Nissan Titan. Uh, they do actually, it's the Lance 650, 825, and 865. So uh, out of those three models, I picked the 650. Why? Uh, that's the only one that I actually have here in stock to show you. So when I get the others in, of course, I'll do another video on those to show you them. But uh, anyways, 650, it'll fit your uh, Toyota Tundra, Nissan Titan, Ford F-150, Chevy 1500, Dodge 1500, etc. More of your full-size and half-ton truck models. Uh, it comes in weighing around 1,900 pounds. This one does with the options added. Uh, that's dry weight. Uh, wet weight at about 300 pounds. So, uh, and I believe actually it's the full-size models that are, let's see, the Tundra would be like 2012 or 2013 and up whenever they made that new body style change. And then whenever Nissan uh, made the new body style for the Titan. So that's what models I'm aiming at. Before that, I'm not sure if they fit or work with it um, as they were smaller. So I'm talking about your newer model uh, import trucks. But anyways, this is the Lance 650 right here. We'll just do a little quick walk around of the outside and then I will show you the inside. This one's actually sold is why it's round back. Got it parked next to the pontoon. On this side, really, the only thing you're missing out on is you've got your tankless water heater here. That's where you stow your fresh water on the go. That run. But uh, you can haul up to 22 gallons of fresh water with you. Got your outdoor shower here, 30 amp plug in for the campground. And then underneath, you have your city water connection and black water flush. I'm not made to be squeezing by through this. Then here you have a little bit of storage. That's actually where I would stow my sewer pipe as this would be insanely difficult to get to as you'd have to lower this manual awning and then get to it. And really you can't even fit the good ones with the good size connections in that one. So. I wouldn't even worry about that. I'd use that little storage compartment on the side for my sewer hose. Round back, you have your dump station, main dump. All comes out right here, black water and gray water. Uh, that would be 16 gallons and that's 15 gallons. So your gray tank holds 15 gallons, black tank holds 16. Then you have your park and satellite connections right here as well as some plug-ins outlets got our docking lights on backup camera so you can see behind you hook up to your trailer and also is good uh, for making lane changes down the road you can see who's beside you or behind you and uh, it's pretty much like an added safety feature to me all right propane tank we've got 120 pounder right here uh, the only thing that's weird about these is they're horizontal so this doesn't read full even though I know it's full uh, because we actually just filled it up this morning so this tank is full it's a little misleading but I believe once it gets closer to the E that's when it uh, really dials in and gets more accurate and to be honest with you this is a pain to get in and out once you do it a few times uh, you warm up to it and figure it out Got to go inside real quick, be right back. All right, so I believe this is where I left off. Uh, you have your uh, electric jacks here. All four of them are electric. Uh, you control them with one remote, and I'll show you that remote. Oh, excuse me. All right, so this is your remote that runs the whole show here. All right, so you can do one at a time, two at a time, or all four by using these buttons here. All four raised, all four lowered. Then you can do the same up here for just the front just uh, or just the rear. All right, so the whole show is controlled right there on that one remote. 
And then also on the passenger side, you have your outdoor speakers tied into the radio, AM, FM, or TV. Then you have this nice auto awning here. It does have auto wind sensing added to it. So if it gets too windy outside, it rolls itself back in. Uh, since I don't have a ladder on the back here, I uh, can't show you the roof really, but it does have a solar panel, 100 watt, and then a TV antenna up there and a bunch of goodies. So we're gonna make our way onto the inside here. And this is that new 2021 interior color. This one is called platinum. So if you like this gray textured color here, that would be the one that you wanna order right there is platinum. They also have a darker brown interior that's called Java and then a bluish color, which is royal. Right here to the right is your dinette. That's where you sit to eat and you can make that into a bed also. If you're sitting over there, you can just twist this table around. Oh, one handed. Make a little bit more room over there. Then you have some shelving up top above you with some netting. You can store all your stuff in there without having to worry about it flying out at you. Got a little bit of storage space over here also in both of those cabinets. Right here is where I come up with all my weights. All right, so this one of course says 2186 with factory installed equipment. Uh, and then you subtract 202 to get your dry weight. So without the tanks full, without the propane full, uh, subtract 202, which puts you right under 2000. Um, and then 2186 is fully loaded. All right. Next, I'll go over the bed area. All right, so this is your Camper Queen mattress here. Good bit of space. And I actually get asked a lot if you can stay in these while not on the truck. Well, as you saw outside, this is this is not sitting on anything but the ground. I'm gonna get up in here, and I'm not falling forward, thank goodness. So, yes, you can stay in these uh, while not on the truck. Uh, that's what I really like about these. They're very stable on the ground. You don't have to worry about tilting floor forward or falling or whatever. Um, over here to the right, that's where our closet's at. Then you also have a little bit of shelving countertop space over to the left up there. Some shelving over here by the fridge. And then a decent sized fridge here. Remember this is the smallest camper and the lightest. So everything about this camper is to keep it light. Then you have a little separated ice box up here. Some people like having the fridge in the bed. Some people don't. I don't mind, you know, when you're over here in the kitchen, all you gotta do is reach over there and then, you know, grab your drinks, grab your sandwich meat or something. In the bed area, you also have your 19 inch TV, radio, some outlets, DC plug-in and USBs, and then a little bit of storage space off to the side. Put your movies, DVDs, and stuff over there. And then as you can see, you can also see the TV from the dinette, so that's a big plus. All right, kitchen space. As you can see here, we got the sink cover, so that'll add for countertop space if you're not using the sink. You have a two burner stove top. The only thing this one's missing is an oven. Um, yeah, but you do have a microwave. I believe that's just your standard size microwave. Storage over to the left. That's where you can store your pots and pans and rags and all that good stuff. Some non slam drawers. Then another thing I forgot to mention was this one has a tankless water heater. Hot water on demand, endless supply of it. Um, no hot water tank, you know, to run out of hot water. So that's a big plus, big bonus. 
Then here we have our wet bath. You can sit right down on the toilet while taking a shower. It's kind of like a built-in boudet or something. No need for toilet paper, even though you do have a holster over here for it. Plus, you can clean the toilet while taking a shower. I don't know anything better than that. But anyways, uh, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave me a thumbs up. If you found it helpful or whatnot, let YouTube know that I know what I'm talking about. might be enjoyable to watch. Uh, if you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I'll try to get the camera adjusted there. Uh, and then again, if you're not already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Um, I'm posting videos about once a week now and trying to get new product in to show you guys. So keep an eye out for all that. You can hit the notification bell and be notified when I upload a video. Um, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. That's what will go in a uh, full-size import like a Toyota Tundra and a, uh, let's see, uh, Nissan Titan. Also works with, you know, your Ford F-150s, Chevy 1500s, Dodge 1500s, all that good stuff. So uh, again, thank you. Everybody have a great day and stay safe.